talking to our Darius about the running game, and obviously Bo's numbers jump off the page. You know, what have you seen from not just Bo, but Damien as well in this running game? Uh, both guys, man, great guys, man. Uh, Bo. Um, Stepping in and doing what he has to do this this spring, uh, trying to get better as well as Damian, man. So we got two good backs. Uh, all of our backs are great, man. So uh, it's going to be great blocking for all of them. What are the differences in blocking for the two of them? Um, there's really no difference here at Alabama, man. You block for the same type of running backs every year, man. It's TJ and, and Derek and all them from the past, man. It's the same this year. There's really no difference. You guys are obviously gunning for some steak. Uh, what does that mean? <laughs> uh, it means a lot, man. Last year I was on a losing team. Uh, the year before that I was on a winning team. Uh, so, you know, you always want to win. You always want to get that steak. It's like a pride thing. Uh, and this one being my last one, I want to go out with a steak, you know, to be able to talk. Um, me and Alphonse Taylor, you know, that's like one of my best friends on the team. Uh, we was like, man, we got to get a steak this year, man. So that, that's a big thing. Coach Saban has referenced that there hasn't been a lot of complacency around the team this year, despite the fact that you guys won a national championship last year. Why is that? Um, Coach Saban always tells us, uh, you know, now that we won, the target on our backs is going to be bigger. Um, you know, a lot more teams are gunning for us and stuff like that. So just that drive. Uh, and want to get back to where we got last year and knowing that last year's team is not this year's team. We got to be different, you know. Um, that just drives everybody and just puts that fire into everybody, you know. It was a climb last year. I mean, early on in the season after the Ole game, a lot of people were writing you guys off. Do you think that has played into how hungry the team remains this year? Um, I mean, I think that it definitely has. Um, when we lost to Ole Miss, we, you know, figured out that uh, there's some teams out there that, you know, not scared of us, man. So, you know, you got to come with it every week. Um, every team is, you know, going to try to bring the A game against Bama. So you got to try to come with it every week and, you know, try to beat those teams and, you know, be better than you were the week before. You got some youth on the O-line, uh, Lester, Jonah. What have you seen from those guys this spring? Oh, those guys look good, man. They don't look like they're young at all. So that's a good thing. Um, just uh, just blocking with them, man, you know, some individual drills, you know, doing practice and stuff like that. They're going to be some good guys, man. Um, the only thing I would say that separates them from others is the, the fact that they're young, but they don't they don't look young, they don't act young, they don't play young, so that's fine. What's the biggest difference you've noticed with the, the shuffling of the coaches along the front with Coach Cristobal and Coach Keene? Um, I mean, no, no difference, honestly. Um, just, just basically the name and the room changing, man. Um, both guys are great coaches, man. Uh, um, no different from, from me with Coach Cristobal. You know, I had him at O-line, so tight end is the same thing with him coming over.